Hello, this is Nemesis with another video review. This is Pounce from the Titans Return Siege on Cybertron box set. Yes. And, well, as you can see, he is Legends class, a uh, little panther, tiger, whatever thing. Um, I'm not sure what kind of cat he is supposed to be. I've never actually been sure. But anyway, yeah, there he is. He's a um, little, I guess, wild cat thing. Um, he's got a white, he's mostly whites, darks, blues, pink, and uh, um, teal, I guess. Yeah, it's a pink. Uh, he's got little orange eyes picked out on his head, which, um, you know, they're cleanly picked out, which is good. Uh, yeah, he's, yeah, you can kind of see there's just kind of robot chill in there underneath and everything. It's not exactly the most complicated transformation, but he looks decent enough. Um, there's a weird thing on there. Um, posability, though, uh, kind of limited, unfortunately. Uh, his front legs can go forward and back. He can bend at that elbow right there, forward only, kind of stops right there, so it's always at an angle. Uh, but it can go up all the way up that far if you need it to. Um, legs, you got this, you know, and this, and it can move a bit. Um, you got this hinge. That's a ball joint. That's a swivel. Those can move forward. These are down here at the down here can move forward a little bit, but it's not a whole lot. You're kind of limited just by the nature of everything. The tail can waggle, I guess, up and down, and that's about it, really. And the head can look up and down, although when you do so, you start exposing the robot head. And, yeah, so it's kind of limited posability, mostly because the front leg's limited. Um, I mean, you can kind of get a splayed stance and everything for the back legs, but again, and the front legs as well, but then you're starting to untransform it. But So you can kind of, guess, I guess, get a little bit of a hunkered down, ready to pounce, heh, pose. But, you know, it's it's kind of limited, but also if you're creative, you can get around those limitations. But that's kind of expected for a Legends class figure, especially one of these, uh, what is it, twins? Yeah, Decepticon clones, twins, I can never remember. I'm sorry for that. Uh, real quick, I forgot this in the main video, I'm gonna add it in right here. Um, the cat mode here can also has a little space here for a Titan Masters, you know, say like Thunderwing here, you can peg them in right here, the little slot for the back of the legs, and it goes, it holds on pretty tight. And so you can have a Titan Master right on the back and do whatever. Just forgot to put that in, so I'm just gonna throw that in right here, so, uh, yep. But anyway, um, transformation is also pretty simple. First thing you wanna do is take the head and push, put it on the back, spin the robot head around 180 to face the front of the robot, Straighten the legs out, fold the uh, cat legs into the back of the robot legs, like so. Spin them around at the thigh swivel, and there you want to fold the arms back, and then take the front legs from the um, cat, fold them up like this, and have them sit on the back like that. Take the tail, fold it up, and tab it into this little tab right here. And then take these arms and rotate them forward, and you're done. And you got Pounce in his robot mode. Of course, you can take this little flap and uh, fold it up like that if you want, if you don't want to see it from the front, but then you have a sat sticking out. Yes, he has a butt flap. Yes, I know that caused actual physical pain, if I believe some of the TFW posts, but whatever, butt flap, I don't care. It's not a big deal. It's in the back, which, you know, you don't display your figures facing backwards. At least, I don't. If you want to do that, that's your thing. But, yeah, he's actually a pretty nice looking uh, robot. Um, pretty simple. Nothing too uh, extravagant, though. He's got, you know, the same basic shape as, say, uh, you know, Fast Lane or Fast Clash or whatever you want. You know, same general shape, more or less the same height. They're about Legends class size, give or take a millimeter. Um, so, yeah, you got that. Uh, the arm, um, there's a little bit of simplicity, like he has folding in hands. This guy does not, unfortunately. So they're just kind of chilling out on the uh, cat mode. But, yeah, he looks good. The robot mode is actually really good. Um, you got the head is on a swivel. And thankfully, unlike, say, Fast Lane, there is no uh, spoiler hanging out on the back to uh, spoil things. Yeah, that's on a swivel. It's very tight, though. His shoulders are on ball joints, so they go forward and back. And, they can go outward very far, so you can T-pose if you want them to. And they have a little bit of curl, but also because of the transformation, you can do, just like fast lane. you can do this thing where you kind of move the arms forward if you want to, which can actually help, you know, so butterflying them forward can help with some poses if you want that. Elbows on ball joints, so it doubles as an elbow and a bicep swivel. 
Uh, they go forward about a little over 90 degrees. Not a whole, so you actually got a, quite a bit of range there. Uh, fit, fists don't do anything, but they can hold stuff. They are, those are 5mm ports. No waist swivel, unfortunately. Um, I guess just because there's just too much back here to facilitate one. But he's got hips on ball joints, so forward, back, although that's limited by the butt plate. Outward, full, full splits you got there. You got a thigh swivel on a mushroom peg. And knee joint, about 90 degrees because, well, these cat feet get in the way if you want it more, but you can get more, but then you got cat feet hanging out and that's just kind of odd for everybody. Uh, nothing in the feet, uh, but he is sculpted in a stance, so you got that. So yeah, he's actually a pretty nice little uh, um, guy. You got, you know, pretty decent posability for a Legends class figure. Yes, I know there's a whole brouhaha about they weren't Legends or something, but now they actually are, whatever. Uh, he's a good figure. Um, he's one of the ones I think a lot of people are looking for. This and the Magnus Prime are the ones that people are really looking for in this box set. Um, he's really worth it. If someone's selling him for a good price, which I suspect some people will, although a lot of people won't be because this is the one they want. If you can find one for a good price, I'm saying $10, $15, worth it, um, especially if you go ahead and get that two-pack from Walgreens, which isn't actually out yet, but should be, unless you want to pay that $40 something dollars to import it, and that's just crazy, don't do that. But anyway, he's worth $10, $15 on his own. I think he's a nice little thing. Um, yeah, the green, the blues, the, the little sticker here with the little cat on it, the Decepticon on his symbol on his crotch. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a weird placement. The white and yellow detailing on his legs, it's really nicely detailed, too. So, got a good color scheme. He looks good. He's, he's got little orange eyes painted, picked out on his head. He looks good. So, yeah, I think he's worth the 10, 10 or $15. Um, not not necessarily worth buying the whole box set for it, unless you ha are able to sell everything else. But, yeah, 10 or $15 worth it. Go for it at that price. If someone's trying to get more than that out of the, you, just... Go by, just walk, keep walking. Just don't go for more than 15, I say. Um, because he's a decent figure, he's just not a spectacular figure, especially since that alt mode is a little. Uh, you can see a whole bunch of robot stuff just hanging around. And he's got a pretty simple transformation, a little more involved than um, Fast Lane was, but still pretty simple. Again, $10 to $15, that's what it's worth. Any more than that, don't bother. But he's a good figure, just not that. He's just not worth that much because he's so small. So, yeah, that was another review for the Siege and Cybertron set. Um, join me next time for um, more. There's three more left to do. And uh, I'll see you then.